This ABC 15 Flash Briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. Straight up. I'm Katie Rammel with your top stories from ABC 15 Arizona. Arizona reaching a grim milestone in the COVID pandemic. More than 19,000 Arizonans have lost their lives to this virus. While the number is staggering, it's the individual loss. Today, ABC 15 also confirming two COVID-19 deaths among Phoenix first responders, Phoenix firefighter Miguel Angulo and Phoenix Police Sergeant Tom Craig. Masks in schools, it's a topic that's been divisive, but tonight a new survey statewide shows Arizona voters support mask mandates in schools 57 to 41 percent. The survey is funded by the Arizona Public Health Association and the Arizona School Boards Association. It finds 57 percent of likely voters support mask requirements in local government, schools and charter facilities. The city of Tucson is suspending its vaccine mandate for city employees after State Attorney General Mark Brnovich said the mandate is illegal. Last month, the Tucson City Council approved a vaccine mandate for all city employees. At the time, several hundred of the city's more than 3,000 employees were not vaccinated. It's my belief that people owe it to their co-workers and we owe it to the community to mandate our employees get a COVID vaccination. This afternoon, Tucson Mayor Regina Romero called the Brnovich decision deeply unfortunate, but not surprising. The Tucson city manager says the vaccine mandate would be suspended until the city can decide its legal position here. In Mesa, fire crews are monitoring a hay fire that sparked at a dairy farm near Sossman and Elliott. If you're in the East Valley, you may have seen all this smoke. Rural Metro Fire says about 500 bales of hay at Arizona Dairy Company caught fire. Employees helped crews keep the fire from the buildings. No injuries were reported and fire officials say this was likely caused by spontaneous combustion. The fire is expected to burn again for the next few days. A new study from the Better Business Bureau ranks Phoenix fifth in the country for rental scams. People are losing their money and they're left scrambling to try to find a place to live. We're taking action with some tips to help. In fact, if you find a listing you like, you do need to do some homework first. Call the property management company directly to confirm the ownership. When the agent shows the property, make sure they have full access inside and out. No excuses. And then don't pay any application fees before you see the property. And realtors say after you see the property, fees above 60 to $70 are simply too much. Get paid to update your business look. Uh, the city of Buckeye offering money to businesses to spruce up their buildings. Through the city's Catalyst program, businesses can get up to $50,000 to improve things like construction and landscaping and parking. You can apply to the city's website through the end of September. The city of Tempe unveiling its new mobile cooling center today. It's called Jenny's Trailer, named after a lifelong advocate for those who are homeless, Jenny Norton. When temperatures are 110 degrees or higher, it provides a place for people to cool off and get a little bit of water. Uplifting Arizona by increasing kindness. A Tucson community is spreading happiness from the roots up. It is really a good movement. It's, it's brought the neighborhood together. A group of Tucson neighbors put together this giving tree. The original goal was to provide more shade, but now people in the community can also bring a gift or take one as needed. We did it because we wanted to start something because of the pandemic that started and people didn't have a lot. There wasn't a lot of hope. There wasn't a lot for people to look forward to. Organizers call the mission to spread joy a success. I'm Chief Meteorologist Amber Sellins tracking another sunny and hot day tomorrow. Temperatures starting out in the 80s, but back in the triple digits tomorrow afternoon. We also have another ozone high pollution advisory. This has now been extended through the day tomorrow and watches are in place for Thursday, Friday and Saturday that could be upgraded to advisories too. So limit your time outside if you have asthma or COPD or you may have difficulty breathing as air quality continues to be an issue here in the days ahead. Heat's going to become a bigger issue too. By Thursday, excessive heat watches issued for the Phoenix metro area. This as temperatures approach 109 degrees that afternoon. Now at this point, it's a one day heat alert and it could be upgraded to a warning as we get closer, but temperatures are still looking pretty hot throughout the next seven days. 107 tomorrow, 109 with that excessive heat watch on Thursday and 106 on Friday. A few passing clouds Friday and Saturday, but no chances for monsoon storms as this forecast stays dry. 
For the latest headlines, weather and traffic, head to abc15.com or download our free ABC 15 mobile app. This ABC 15 flash briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. Straight up.